welcome to extended thoughts so today guys we're going to be looking at the john hawkins let's begin so john hawkins was born in 1532 in england to a prominent family in plymouth in the county devon he died november the 12th 1595 of puerto rico spanish maine and his years of service were from 1562 to 1595 and even to this day there are memorials for the hawkins family and if you look on the screen it says sir john hawkins square now sir francis drake was his second cousin and they died around about the same time he was a year older than the queen sir john hawkins the devonian became treasurer and controller of elizabeth the first navy now he's also credited with bringing tobacco and potatoes to britain Going back to his cousin, Sir Francis Drake, he also has a monument for his dealings and this can be found in Plymouth, England. Drake also authored a book on the West Indies and this book is called A Relation of Voyages into the West Indies. This was put out in 1595 of August, printed at London for Nicholas Borney. Interesting. If you look at the circumnavigation routes, He traveled in and around the Pacific Ocean, which today they say is too turbulent to travel along and through. I wonder why. Now going back to Sir John Hawkins, he was the second son of William Hawkins, who was the first Englishman to sail to Brazil. But listen, his mother was called Joan Trelawney. Shout out all the Jamaicans who know about Trelawney in Jamaica. And his daughter and so Harris of Roger Trelawney of Brighton, Cornwall, and Sir John Hawkins' family were Protestants. Now, he started a slave trade using former King Henry VIII's ship jesus of lubeck which was built in the free city of lubeck in germany which was given to his daughter elizabeth I. in 1562 john hawkins sailed with three ships to sierra leone where he took approximately 300 slaves to the plantations in the uh, americas where he traded the slaves for pearls, hides, sugars, and other miscellaneous commodities. Interestingly, Sir John Hawkins was a people person. He was a people pleaser to an extent. I kid. No, but he was known for his humanitarian effort. You see, he made a hospital for those who were on board his ships or were working for his ships. And it said that the naval pirates for those welfare he set up his hospital acknowledged their debt to him. And the hospital of Sir John Hawkins the Knight can be found in Chatham, Kent. Now guys, let me know 
what you found most interesting regarding this history and why this history is not well known. And why this history is scarcely taught? And are the gatekeepers of history against extending thoughts?